hey youtube welcome back to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up for this video so today's video is going to be very short i'm just going to show you how i remove the glue from the edges of my hair once i take my lace wig off so as you can see it's pretty caked up um a lot of times when you wear your glue or your lace frontal or whatever closure for too long sometimes you get these results um cakey sticky you know the icky stuff so you're only gonna need four things in this process and one of those things will be a old rag. Yeah, that's not my good rag. So it'll be probably going in the trash after that. Um, also 91% alcohol. Um, I usually try to get the purest alcohol as possible. That way it can work better, you know? And also some glue remover spray. Um, I use the Super Citrus by b, b because it really works well. However, I can let you know that it is kind of strong. So, right here, I'm just going to saturate my towel. Make sure you put enough in so it can work well. Your towel is nice and saturated. All you have to do is just pretty much just um, rub the glue off of the edges in a firm downward motion. Okay, you do not want to push the glue back into your hair because you're just going to be causing another problem for yourself. So as you can see, I'm holding it for a while. Um, that way I can just squeeze a little of the alcohol right onto the glue so you know it could work well. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Um, yeah, so basically just keep repeating this process. Um, basically just get the towel as wet as possible and you know, just work it in yes so the only thing you do is just really repeat this process around your entire head um yes this is a very tedious process so it's probably not a good idea to do it while you're in a rush because you probably would end up with uh you know patches bald spots of you know whatever Yeah, so you know it's working well when you get the little glue boogers on your finger. You know, that means that um, you're taking it off properly. And you still should have your edges if you follow these steps. Please do not just get the pulling um, the glue off the edge of your hair. And also, um, no, that is not a bald spot in my hair. Yes, I have old braids in and I have a lot of new growth. So, yeah. As you can see, I still have my edges that look a little thin right there. But, sweetie, I still got my edges. Look hard. Fuck you me. Fuck. Anywho, like I said, just repeat this process all the way around your hair. And, sis, you will be fine, right? So, it's okay to pull a little bit. You know, you will see. You see those little booger crumbs on the edges of my hair. It's okay to pull a little bit once you know it's safe. You know, your hair not matted down no more. It's like a little... A little edge fro, you know, it's okay to pull. Just go on ahead and get that stuff at your hair, girl, because, um, baby, <laughs> we need our edges. <laughs> oh, yeah. Summertime, wintertime. You feel me? <clears throat> so, let me start with the ratchetness. <laughs> so, here is the hard part. Let me go ahead and freeze that for you real quick. That's caked up glue. So, this is where your citrus or whatever type of glue removal spray come in um you can either use a towel to saturate the towel with it or you can just spray it on top of there depending on what kind you get like i told you the citrus spray is very strong and um it's like you feel it tingling in your skin or something like that but it really does work so i'm just gonna take a towel first to kind of get it started Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and spray this spray right on my edges um, and let it sit for about a minute. Like I said, this is a tedious process, so, you know, just uh, it's okay to just spray it right on top. And instead of using a towel, you can basically jump right into it and grab a comb because, as you can see, a towel, uh, especially when it's, you know, you see that thickness right there, all the thick glue, when it's a thick you know patch of glue like that 
it probably be probably would be best to just go ahead and use a comb and get it over with but just take your time or make sure that it's nice and moist because um you can easily pull a you know ball spot right in your hair so Okay, so basically when you're combing your edges out, just treat it as if you would treat like some tangled weave or something like that. Just take your time, comb it out in sections. You know, some people may have um, thicker patches, you know, on more spots on their head. So it might, may not be in one spot like I have and I can just comb it right out. But like I said, just uh, take your time with it. Look at all that baby hair right there, girl. Yes, yeah, take your time. And um, if you do this and follow these steps exactly how I'm doing it, you will definitely keep all your baby hair, trust me. Okay, so guys, that's pretty much it. Um, all As you can see, all the glue is out of my hair. I probably have like little crumbs. I'm just flicking those out, the extra little crumbs. But um, basically, that's it. As you can see, I still have all my baby hairs, right? <laughs> yes, so I need those. Sometimes I don't want to wear a wig. Sometimes I wear, want to wear a ponytail. And you know how it is nowadays. Uh, the moment somebody see a, a bow spot, people notice everything nowadays. They're going to look right at the bow spot while you're trying to rock a ponytail. So, you know, we just want to make sure we keep all our hairs or whatever. So, yeah, but that is it, huh?